hello welcome to another session in this video you will learn how to communicate between PLC and HMI so we have written already one program so you know that how to program the PLC because we are up to now around about more than 20 lectures so you have understanding of how to actually program a PLC so we have taken a simple network where we take one input and one output when we will have input we will have output so first we will just download it here into the simulator so I will just replace that and I will try to turn on these watches to give you visualization on this particular PLC then we, will, we are going to take that signal towards HMI so this is schematic manager software you know that it's used for programming of a PLCs S7300 and 400 when I will give input I0.0 .0, we will get an output when I will remove that the output will be gone so now this output if you want to realize into the HMI screen itself how we can do that we know that Schematic Manager is a software for PLC programming but for HMI programming what we are gonna do which software we can use there that is going to be the part of today's class and how we can actually configure the signals are what we can say is inputs and outputs how we can actually get the data from PLC to that particular HMI we have a software called WinCC Flexible I have WinCC Flexible installed already so I will just click on that it will open up that software when you are gonna see first time this software open you will see the first window here that is WinCC flexible main window and you have to click on create new project so you can click on that and click OK now you can see the software is already opened up we have to take this circle from here into the window so we have taken here a circle for that we have to do one thing first thing is to define a connection because we are gonna get that data from the PLC so we have to tell that particular software that this HMI is gonna get the signals from this particular PLC that's why we have to define the connection here so connection will be any name you can say here but it automatically takes Symmatic S7300 PLC but if in the case you have any other Allen Bradley PLC you have Medicom, you have a Modbus, a Modbus TCP IP and you have GE Fun or any other PLC then you can sel select then you can select the PLC accordingly but I'm gonna take that PLC here and then rest of the things you can leave it as it is for now once you define the connection the next thing is going to take that output Q0.0 you remember that output should be here right so we have to define the tags here so I click on this tag option here this window is opened up now so I will click on name here tag one you can name anything you can rename it but I'm not gonna rename this one I'm taking it as it is now we have to tell that which connection connection one connection one because it's it's for the PLC right we have defined there and then data type is boolean right so we have to select that so we have taken a bool from here the next thing is to define address so when I will click on address and options here on the range I'm not gonna take this data from DB for now so I'm just gonna take it from Q Q is output right 0, 0.0 so I have taken that Q0.0 here you have different option if you want to take input you can take input if you want to take pi, PI signal Q signal PQ signal M signal discuss these all data types in previous session if you're not aware of it then cons consider watching that PLC data type session from this particular channel just click OK now Q0.0 that is boolean data type coming from the connection 1 and the tag here within that HMI you have linked that Q0.0 output with the tag 1 
now go to the screen okay you remember that we have taken a circle now next just click, double click on that circle when you double click on that circle go to the patients and then you can go to the appearance here you can define which tag you are gonna connect with that particular circle that is actually tag one then you have to define the data type that is bit so fine and then you're gonna define on zero which kind of a color you want and for one which kind of a color you want for zero I want to have green color and for one I want to have red color I have defined green and for one I'm gonna define red color we have uh, defined zero green color and one red color so it's run that program you can run it from here now this runtime HMI screen is opening up and already you can see here green color is there now we have simulator running so we this simulator from the PLC and we can here we can give an input apply this input you can see the color is changing here so when we will have I0.01 this color of the the color of the circle becomes red and when I have zero it will become green we communicated a data digital data from the PLC to an HMI hope you change the name of this particular channel so if you have any suggestion like I was thinking to maybe change it to Novan Tech or Muhammad Novan what is the good name if you can suggest some good names based on your feedbacks I'll try to change it maybe next week so yeah I hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed yet consider subscribing this channel and we will talk about how we can get that analog data so just to make it short and sweet I will mix up these two topics in one session hope you like this video take care till tomorrow bye bye